Deze week konden we het niet laten om toch nog maar eens een bezoekje te brengen aan de Porto Bello Mart. Op de Porto Bello Mart kregen vroeger newcoming designers de kans om te laten zien wat zij waard waren. Vandaag vinden we er enkel de meest commerciële namen terug, buiten enkele sterke designers natuurlijk. Vandaag heeft deze een meeting met één van die designers. We zijn hier bij Porto Bello Green en Linda heeft hier haar winkel. Dat heet uh, Isis. Linda is een jewelry designer die hele fijne mooie juweeltjes maakt voor heel veel verschillende mensen. Dus we gaan heel even kijken wat met er is. The shop's got mainly silver, although I do do um, gold on commission. Special orders for people and things, um, but it's expensive to fill a shop full of gold. So, um, so yes, no, and people love silver anyway. On the Portobello market, it's really not easy eh, to get a spot here ever again. It's, it's not, it's not. And when these workshops were set up, they were actually intended to be workshops with a shop area. Um, and there's only a few of us really that use the units like that now. Can we look a little bit on, on the different... Okay, great. Over here I've seen all kinds of little stones like pearls and stuff. Yeah, Can you tell me a little bit about pearls, amethyst? Um, I mean, God, I've got a drawer. Drawers full of beads. Look, there's just absolutely loads. <laughs> wow. No, all semi-precious. I mean, we do work. Um, we do work in, in precious materials as well. These I love. These are, are radiated um, topaz. These little blue beads. Wow. Haven't done anything with them yet. We were talking about beads, what, what I do, I mean, that's, that's a one-off piece. Um, although I've got two in the window, they're both very, very different. How long do you work on a piece like this? Um, uh, that would take me the best part of the day. <laughs> uh, there's, there's 120 little, little, little beads and freshwater pearls and amethysts and semi-precious. See, I used to do the trade fairs years ago, but when I do one-off things like this, you, you can't do the trade fairs because they want everything repeated. And, and I don't sell to other shops anymore. I, I, I design and make solely for the shop. Solely for here, yep. You make necklaces too, the one that you have that you have around your yes, own neck? Yes, it's, it's just like a little, little, little charm, little charm wow. necklace, which is, you know, something, these are quite fashionable. Yeah, moment. very, very fashionable. Um, there's another one there. It's a uh, crystal quartz, um, but it's it, it's found in rocks and the bits, that, the, the patterns, that the sort of it's almost like an underworld, underwater world. It's part of the rock that surrounds the crystal, so they've cut part of the rock away. So on each one of those, you don't get two stones the same. Wow. Now, where do you see yourself going in the future? You're gonna keep on going. I'm kind of enjoying what I'm doing now, really, yes. because it is more individual and. Um, You know, I, I, I don't have to worry about, you know, I've got to make 50 of those pieces and get them out to the shops and things, you know, it's, um, it's a much nicer way to work. Thank you so much for this interview. It's all right, it's been really good. All the best. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Portobello Market, een plek om je fashion hart los te laten. Nah.